What's up, Internet? Big J with Big J's Extreme Fitness. If you like me and have more than one grill, you probably don't cook on each one of those every day. You got to be safe and careful before you cook. So I want to show you guys how to slowly remove that lid and check for any varmint, snakes, squirrels, rats, bees, nests. It could be up underneath there. And then let's clean this thing up and get ready to cook. Pull your grill off of there, of course. Get that wood out of there. Clean the bottom of that grill up. We put you some gloves on. Scrape it all down. Grab your catch. Throw it all away. And then when you get done with that, put it back in there. Don't forget to put it in because all those coals are going to be leaking onto the bottom of that grill. And you want to make sure before you start any kind of fire, you clean up underneath there. You're going to have leaves and dead grass and all that other stuff, especially in the, uh, in the summer or winter time. And even in the springtime, there's a whole lot of leaves. you got to clean it all out. And then I like to be safe and pull it a good foot or two away from where it possibly could catch a fire. You don't want to burn your grass and in turn, burn your barn and your whole house down. Those fancy trailers you got out back too. So I like to get the hard part of that bristle, scrape as much as I can down, and then brush it up or rough it up like that. Then I'll re-empty my can. I don't show you that. But at this point, we're going to go ahead and start cooking on it. So I like to throw my briquettes in there, and then I make sure that when it's all in there, I spread it all out. And after you spread it from your teepee, it covers the entire cooking surface of your grill. Now let's get back to building a teepee. Get it all piled up there. And you'll see that I'm only going to go on one side. This is actually a part, first part of a cooking video I'm going to show you guys in the next video. I've only got half of it covered. We're going to go ahead and spray our accelerant on there. Some people like to use a natural charcoal, and I do sometimes, but that's just what I've got for the day. And I want to tell you, when you put your uh, accelerant down, don't put it right beside there, because that bad boy can start a fire and blow up on your leg. It's happened to me before. As soon as you pour that on there, light her up, and then walk away and get your cigar or your cold beer or your iced tea or coffee or whatever it is you're doing. Enjoy the fire. It's a beautiful sight. Now, sometimes when I'm cooking with wood, the first thing you want to do is check underneath there and make sure there's no varmints or snakes or rats or anything else that's going to bite on your leg, especially if you're pulling from that wood pile out there. And almost forgot, that top part's going to have some of that old paint peeling off, especially if it's a cheaper grill like this one and not a big smoker. And smokers do it too, but you want to scrape that off too. Now, the charcoals are getting ready. You see how it's white around all the edges? Let's let it sit for a little bit longer. That's right, thumbs up. And then we'll spread it out. So again, this is the first part of a cooking video. I'm only going to have these charcoal on one side. I'll leave that side to where there's not a lot of heat. But we do want to clean that grill up. So what we're going to have to do is spin it around, heat up one side, then spin it around. So I'm going to use a hard side first. I'm going to spin it over and use that bristle side. And by the time that that's hot, it'll come off really easy. Don't try to do it without it getting heated up. It makes it a lot easier. So we spin it around, again, because we're only using one side. Then we use the bristles to clean it up real good. Now, some people will take that thing to the car wash and wash it off, but not me. I just like to scrape it off. Let's put that lid on there. Let's carburet it properly. We don't want to let all the heat out, so we'll choke it down just a little. And then I open it up really big at the bottom so it keeps our fire going. And look at it. Beautiful smoke, just like we like it. Next video, you'll see me teaching you guys how to smoke frozen chicken right out of the freezer. Till next time, Tensity Rules Train Hardcore, and we'll see you next video.